Tokians and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> don't you want to vibe? Just one more time, baby. Don't you miss having me by your side? Where we used to ride? Where we used to ride all night? Hello, everyone. It's so great to see you here today. I'm so excited to be making this video because, let's face it, I am the most unproductive person on the planet and I couldn't be productive if I wanted to. So like, let's dive into productivity because I need to be productive, you need to be productive, and we all need to be productive and conquer the day, be successful, live our best lives. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to hit your notification bell because you already know videos are coming, 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 coming back to back to back the rest of this year the rest of my life okay without further ado let's get into it what even is productivity like what what how would you describe productivity like for me productivity means hitting everything on my list for the day getting it done and feeling super satisfied that my day was spent really working towards my bigger goal or my bigger aspiration. Let's start at the very beginning. So the first thing you can do, obviously, to increase your productivity during the day and just really kick off your day right is to wake up earlier. Wake up earlier, even if it's 15 minutes, five minutes, two minutes earlier, like starting the process of waking your body up and getting used to being up earlier is going to just increase your overall productivity for the day. There's something very gratifying about waking up earlier because you feel like, oh my gosh, like I can get so much more done if I just wake up at this time versus this time. And like, this doesn't work for everybody. Waking up earlier doesn't work for everybody. And I will admit that like, it's hard for me to wake up earlier because I stay up late at night. So waking up earlier really goes with going to bed earlier. But if you're not the type of person that's like a morning person, rise and shine, or somebody who wants to like enjoy the day, I have a suggestion. So like for us night owls, that's me, okay? There's like another way that you can be productive. So like I saw this schedule of the day and it was like, wake up at your regular time, wake up at 12 noon, wake up at one o'clock, like wake up, okay? Rise and shine. So you're waking up late, you wake up in the middle of the day and you're like, holy crap, the whole day is gone. But you're a night owl, so you're never gonna be up late. So basically what you can do is plan your day around your actual schedule. Wake up in the middle of the day, get your errands done, do what you need to do outside, get your workout in, and then spend the rest of the day like planning work and um, just doing things that you know you need to get done and studying, doing work, uh, filming, whatever you need to do. like. You can do that throughout the night if that's what you want to do instead of doing it during the day so like waking up early slash getting on a schedule that works for you is going to be a game changer because you're gonna be like oh my god i can do this i have ample time and ample opportunity and like it's gonna be so gratifying for you to wake up and have a set schedule that you follow that will help you do what you need to do and be productive Number two, you can listen to podcasts, vlogs, any kind of thing like that. Hey, what is up, you guys? In your spare time or while you're doing something else, and it will make you feel like you've gotten educated for the day. And I think that's important that we're always increasing our knowledge and finding ways to delve into things that we didn't know, things that we want to know, things that we want to learn. Personally, I like to turn on Haley Gamba's vlogs in the morning and just listen to her talk because I'm an aspiring influencer, aspiring YouTuber, and she gives great tips on how to care for yourself and do self-care, how to be present, how to just live your best life. And personally, like she really speaks to me because we're about the same age, we're going through about the same thing and it just really helps me learn new things that I didn't know about myself and at the same time she's a step ahead of me so I can see okay I need to do this this and this if I want to get here so like maybe when you are making your breakfast you can listen to a podcast or when you're in the shower you can cut on a podcast or a vlog and just listen to it and really gain new knowledge while you're also taking care of other things on your list that is one way to just feel productive because you're learning and doing at the same time now like don't do something that's gonna like don't listen to a podcast while you're doing something that's going to take away from that like if you're gonna be distracted by the podcast or the vlog like maybe not do that at that time but like definitely when you're cooking or when you're in the shower or just doing something simple it's very easy to listen to a podcast turn on a vlog and just listen and digest number three get moving okay like find a way 
to move during the day. Even if it's when you first wake up and you're stretching, if you wanna go for a run at 6 a.m., if you wanna go for a run at 6 p.m., if you wanna do some aerobic exercise, just find a way for you to get your body moving. Like, it's so easy to hit 10,000 steps a day, so easy. I do it almost every day and I barely do anything. Hit your 10,000 steps. Get your steps in, get your miles in, get your activity in. Like, moving your body is so important, especially if you're in my predicament and you're like trying to intentionally lose weight and be healthier. Moving your body is going to really help you feel productive, feel like you're doing something, feel like I can conquer the day. Like when you go for a run early in the morning, like I do, it makes me pumped to do the rest of my day. Like I'm high energy, I'm ready to tackle the day. It could even be as simple as a walk. Like it doesn't even have to be a jog, like a full on jog. It can just be a walk down the street, down the driveway, around your kitchen. Just get your body moving. If you wanna dance, dance. Just get your body moving and get active so that you can feel your best in order to tackle your day. Number four, put the phone down. This is me. I am that person that will sit in my bed in the morning and scroll and scroll and scroll and look up and now it's 11.30. I've completely forgotten about my morning and now I'm feeling crappy. I'm probably just gonna roll over and go back to sleep to be honest with you. I'm that person. Don't be that person. I know Haley says don't even touch your phone before 10.30. Don't even touch it. Like check your necessities, your texts, your calls and your emails. Put it down. Don't get on Instagram. Don't hop on YouTube. Don't do anything until you do your basic things that you need to get done in the morning and then worry about the phone. I think we all need a social media cleanse from time to time and I think it's a great idea to just put the phone down for a specific time and really focus on what you need to get done because you can get it done so much faster. I know I cut my phone off yesterday morning to clean my room. I clean my room this quick. It usually takes me a while to clean my room because I'm like, pick up something, scroll. Put the laundry in, scroll dust scroll but i got everything done in like less than 30 minutes i cleaned the whole room and i threw the laundry in and i even did the bathroom and that felt good i put the phone down i turned it off and i got done what i need to get done so and i highly encourage you to find a time during your day to just don't even touch the phone put it down number five and this is a huge one for me find a buddy find an accountability partner find somebody who is your who is your go-to, your twin flame, like find that person that's gonna kick your butt and be like, if you don't get off the bed right now, I'm coming over and I'm gonna get you out the bed. Right now for me, my boyfriend is probably my accountability partner because he calls me every morning at 8.30 in the morning on his way to work and he says, get out of bed, my beautiful, no, I'm just kidding, he says, get the out of bed. <laughs> and do the damn thing he knows that's my thing and like he knows i need like get up and go and so that means a lot to me that he calls me every morning and tells me to get up and be productive then after he calls me he shoots me a text and he says have a productive day queen like he really tries to make me feel good and feel like i can get up and do stuff and that means a lot to me and finding an accountability partner is so important because sometimes we can't do it on our own we have to admit that we need help Finding the right support is important because I know all of us have a lot of friends. Maybe some of us don't have a lot of friends like me, but like people who have a lot of friends, like not all your friends are going to be a good accountability partner. They're a good friend, but they're not a good accountability partner and they're not good at staying on you and making sure that you get things done. They're more of like a, oh girl, you're fine. Oh girl, you got it. You did it. But like, they're not really a what are you doing type person. And all of us need that what are you doing type person in our lives. Accountability is super important. I highly recommend you get a accountability partner in your life and stick with it. Number six is kind of iffy. Like it's something that um, if you're really a detail oriented person like I am, you're gonna like if you're like a go with the flow type person, you're probably not gonna like it, but you should try it because it really does help with productivity. And that is making a list of things that you need to do throughout the day and get done and checking it off. I am at the point now where I make lists for everything. I make a grocery list, I make a um, video list that I check off weekly. I make sure I do at least three checks on this long list of videos that I have and try to get things done. Um, I make a list for the day when I need to get done, a morning list, a skin routine list, a skincare list, whatever. I make a list for everything. And it helps me so much because then I can remember what I need to do and get it done and remember that I got it done. <laughs> Lists are not bad, lists are good. We need lists in our lives. It also helps take broad and bring it in and make it specific. So instead of saying, oh, I need to have a productive morning, 
let's list things that are gonna help us have a productive morning and get things done that we actually need to do. And that's something too, cause I dilly dally a lot. If I don't write it down specifically, I'm gonna dilly dally and I'm not gonna get it done. I'm gonna do everything, but specifically what I need to do. So try writing things down, try making a list and keep track of your productivity. Number seven is do not disturb time. And this is actually very important because everybody does not need access to you 24 seven. You need to have a time where you put your phone away, you turn it on to serve, and you just spend time with yourself. You're reading, you're meditating, we're praying, we're journaling, whatever you need to do, working on your artwork or just any kind of creative outlet, doing something that's meaningful and just you spending time with yourself and just in silence and in the presence of you. We all deserve do not disturb time. Like we all deserve that time where we're just with ourselves and we're just becoming self-aware and just learning what makes us happiest and what really helps us decompress and just focus on ourselves. That's part of productivity is making sure you're taking care of yourself and doing things for yourself. So don't forget to pause during your day and just find a specific hour or so to enjoy yourself and just be free. My final tip, number eight, stop multitasking. Oh my God, multitasking is awful. And I'm gonna tell you a story real quick. In college, I took educational psychology and my professor made sure to let us know that multitasking was not a real thing. And the more that I do it, the more I realize it's not because when you're taking your focus off of one specific thing and you're doing two things at the same time simultaneously, you can't do either one as good as you had hoped because you're focusing on two things at the same time. So instead of doing one really awesome, really great thing and getting it done to its full capacity, its full expectation, you're taking your attention, dividing it between two things and doing them mediocrely and you could be doing one thing very well instead of focusing on two things and doing them kind of well it also doesn't make sense to multitask because the day is abundant there is so much time to get stuff done and even if you're a really busy person the week is a long time the month is a long time like you have time to get things done so hone in on one thing do one thing hold yourself accountable to that one thing and get that done and then move on to the next thing but multitasking is really dangerous because it's like you want to do something you want to put your whole heart into it but you're not putting your whole heart into it because you have to put your heart into two different things at one time and like who wants to do a half-assed job? For me, it comes down to vlogging and singing. I'm writing music, I'm vlogging. I try to focus on one thing at a time. I try to do a really great, awesome, high-energy vlog, and then I try to sit down and write a song because I can't write a perfect song and do a vlog at the same time. I wanna make sure that all my emotions and all my feelings are there and that I put out the best content that I possibly can. So those are eight things that you can incorporate into your everyday life that will help you hone in on productivity and just be overall productive and get your life in order and get things done. If you have your own tips for productivity, definitely leave them in the comment box and let us know what you do every day to stay productive and stay on track during your long day. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you like this video and if you want more like it definitely can do that also let me know in the comments what you want to see going forward what you want to talk about any kind of thing any topic any whatever we can talk about it that was really like a quick you know video about productivity and just things that you can do in your everyday life to improve your overall productiveness and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys like it i hope you guys take these tips and use them in your life i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time on my channel adios chasatopians Mwah.